This is the East African savanna two million years ago, a world of violence and brutal wars. Our early human ancestors lived in a state of constant fear. The greatest threat always arrived with the darkness. Homo habilis, the handyman. The species that relied on intellect, Zara, a skilled toolmaker, was searching for a new advantage. He hammered rough stones into crude weapons and tools. During this process, something miraculous happened. A small, fleeting spark existing for just an instant. Zar, with his inquisitive mind, did not dismiss that moment. That transient light held a promise. He tried to repeat the strike, but the spark would not appear on command. The repeated failure caused him frustration. Zar tried to use his breath to fan the fragile light, but it only produced smoke and then vanished completely. This effort only drew skeptical glances from the others. The tribal leader needed meat, not useless experiments. But Zar knew the key wasn't just the power of the strike, needed a better material to catch the fire. Using careful observation, he set out to find the perfect tinder. The difference between survival and extinction lies in the smallest details. Asterisk under the scorching sun, Zar continued his diligent work. Striking fiercely, but without proper fuel, the sparks remained useless. He observed the dry grass around him, learning to distinguish materials. Zar left the safe area, searching for special, delicate material. The tribal leader was watching. His patience was wearing thin. From the leader's perspective, Zar was simply wasting precious resources. Zar knew he was right and continued his search, ignoring the tribal discontent. He found a fine, soft patch of dry bark or fluff. The perfect tinder returning to his sheltered spot, Zar meticulously arranged the new material. This time, Zah. he selected his striking Zah. stones more precisely. We are a stronger, waiting. yellower spark flew straight into the new, fine tinder. The material ignited not with a flame, but with a persistent, red-hot ember. Zar gently blew air. The red glow intensified, and a tiny, fragile flame flickered to life for the very first time. Zar's face lit up in the firelight, the joy of victory clear. He quickly transferred the flame into a safe, prepared pit. The leader saw the column of smoke. Skepticism turned to intense curiosity. Zar gently added small sticks, nurturing the growing flame. The leader and the others slowly approached. Primitive fear of fire mixed with astonishment at the discovery. Asterisk the 
Leader cautiously extended his hand toward the flame, his astonishment evident. Zar explained with gestures, this is the sun's power, capable of being controlled. The children and others gathered around. The fire was a miracle. Zar continued to slowly feed the wood, proving his ability to maintain the flame, the leaders. Gaze Look. softened, replaced fire. by respect like sun. and deep contemplation. Small sun. A it member brought warm. back a piece of raw meat. Zar pointed at the meat, then pointed at the fire. He carefully placed the raw meat near the flame, allowing it to smoke and sizzle. Smoke rose, carrying a new savory aroma, a first for their world. The leader was drawn by the scent. He followed the meat's transformation intently. Zar offered the cooked meat to the leader, inviting him to taste this great discovery. The leader chewed, his meat. eyes widening with surprise at the ease and delicious. Flavor. Fire. He signaled his approval. Eat. The entire tribe began bringing food to the fire. The fire pit became the new center of activity, where food was heated and cooked. Cooked meat required far less energy to chew and digest. Zar realized, fire wasn't just safety, it was energy for the development of the brain. Even in the daylight, the tribe instinctively gathered around the fire, seeking comfort. Those who had previously clashed, now sat side by side, sharing the cooked food. The flame, with its flickering light, had become a living entity of the tribe. The leader approached Zar, bowing his head to show gratitude and recognition. The tribe settled down. Smoke from the fire ascended into the sky, signaling the moon. Asterisk. The meat is ready. Give it to me. We need more fire. small scavenging jackal stalked closer, but immediately fled upon seeing the smoke and small flame. The leader observed, understanding that fire was their most powerful defensive. Weapon Zar used a long glowing stick to safely turn the meat, showing mastery over the heat. The tribe cleared dry grass around the pit, learning to respect and contain the fire. A child played, warming their hands in the ashes, demonstrating new familiarity. Zar patiently instructed others on the striking technique and material selection. The skill was passed down. Fire was no longer Zar's secret alone. The leader nodded. The knowledge of Strike fire hard. making had become tribal property. Fire needs Zar used grass. the heat to harden the Watch tip closely. of a wooden stick, creating a more durable hunting tool. Wood hardened under the heat. Another leap forward in technology. The tribe gathered by the fire, the fire not just for warmth, but to share now. knowledge and stories. Zar looked out at the savannah, feeling of mastery and the triumph of intellect. His hands, once used solely for fighting, now gently tended the flames. The leader offered Zar a rare valued item, recognizing his role as the pioneer. From above, this small fire pit was the center of a new civilization. Zar gazed into the flames, knowing they could never return to the old days. <laughs> this flame would burn for hundreds of thousands of years, evolving with the species cooked meat, released energy, fueling the growth of our larger brains. The sun set, the firelight and the daylight merging, announcing a new safety. From one accidental spark, Homo habilis had lit the torch of humanity's future.
cooked bone is shown clearly, demonstrating the nutritional efficiency gained by cooking, a key driver for brain development.